The case I'm going to show you is the case of a young woman who came back from a plane trip from Southeast Asia, a long trip, landing in Vienna. Two days later, she had syncope. Now, she recovered and was brought to the hospital, and this is the ECG we recorded. Let me point you to the abnormalities here in the right precordial leads. There is an incomplete right bundle branch block and there are these T-wave abnormalities. Now, let's take a look at the echocardiogram and see what we find. In the peristern long axis view, you will appreciate that the right ventricle is dilated. The valves look normal. And we can confirm that the right ventricle is dilated in the short axis view. In addition, we see flattening of the interventricular septum. What is your take? This is interesting, especially since she just returned from a trip to Southeast Asia. Right. I guess so we all have the same suspicion. In such a situation, the likelihood is very high that she has pulmonary embolism. Still, I guess in most centers of the world, you would try to confirm this with a CT. And here is the CT, and we can see that we have bilateral pulmonary embolism, which is pretty massive in this case. This is a diagnosis, but where does the embolism come from? 